Visconti. Back down here at Zuccotti Park, New York City. <clears throat> the Occupy Wall Street Park, you remember? Oh, you remember? 2011, it wasn't even five years ago. And it's where, where you know, Occupy, resist, right? Here we are. It's like, I saw a statistic I wanted to just talk about. It. I mean, I saw a statistic this morning, 41 million people in America. 41 million Americans living in poverty. Another 40 million living in object poverty. 9 million people, of those people, 9 million live with absolutely no income. Homeless in New York, here in New York, in California, all along the West Coast. What's going on? 30% of all residential homes Empty, unoccupied, right? And 1.4 of those million homes are vacant, not for sale, not even on the market. So, I, I mean, I bring it up for the, for the simple reason. We're down here in Zuccotti Park, and six years, seven years ago, we told, you know, we told people, we were yelling and screaming, banging on our drums, telling us that it's, the problem is income inequality. Right, but then what happens is you read, you read these, you know, someone like Trump wins, and all the, the the ignorant, arrogant, know nothing conservative friends start talking about cutting the tax rate and throwing the IRS in the garbage and 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 going back to you know the eighteen hundreds, the you know the Tom Cruise, the, the, the look, folks. This is not social. So when nobody's promoting socialism to correct the problem, right? It's we have a system of corporate socialism, meaning that the corporations are receiving the socialist benefits. Okay, right. So that the socialism is 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 the benefactors of that government handout are in fact the corporations. Right? That's also what's called a, an oligarchy or a... I wish people in America would start reading reading goddamn history again, you know? It's called, it's called a monarchy. That's how monarchs operate, where millions and millions of people live in object poverty and fight over a bowl of rice, and the wealthy get richer and richer, and all the wealth bleeds out the top. So, again, that's my... I just wanted to talk about that because I'm down in Zuccotti Park and... It's still an open sore of sorts, you know, where there's enough people in America, there's millions of people in America that understand it, right? And we rose up, you know, during the Bernie Sanders day. Now, Bernie Sanders is, a, you know, a, an old, you know, stale guy sitting on the sideline. Fuck him. Who needs him, you know? The point is that we're still here and we're still fighting. Don't ever stop fighting. Don't ever stop speaking up. You know? That's all. Just it irritates me when I see that that uh, poverty level is so high and the markets are screaming. But all the all the wealth. Look, you gotta you gotta enforce the tax laws and the corporations. You gotta get the money out of politics, right? You have to raise the minimum wage so that all people, all people in America, benefit from. The wealth in this country, not just one or two percent, but all people. That's the point. That's that's the measure of a great culture, a great great economy, the great people. Take care of their people.